<laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Grand Cross video and I'm going to split this video into like a different section so you kind of go over it. So, firstly what we're doing today is talking about how to increase your box CC and also your CC overall in the game of Grand Cross. And the reason why I'm making this video because it was a new year, I might as well get a guide out. And uh, I expect more people to come to the game in about a few months time, two months even, when we do get Escon on Global. And also uh, maybe the Stranger Things Club, maybe more people start downloading the game and start playing because it should be a massive thing uh, for Grand Cross because it's such a different audience. And uh, yeah, you get my point right. So today, how do you increase your CC? Now, there's no easy way of doing it because it does take time. Uh, bear in mind, I've been playing since the start of the game on the launch of March 3rd and uh, I've only just gotten around to 6 on everyone. You, you'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, but my box CC is 3.2 mil. Now, it will increase later on when uh, the new uh, update equipment does come to the game and I get to that later on. Uh, but yeah, you'll see why because it just takes too long. Uh, but firstly, Right now, on Global, and even JP actually, there's a current sale event going on right now, so you can buy like, double the amount of stuff from the shops. Definitely recommend doing this, this actually saved me quite a lot of time uh, when I started 6 on everyone earlier last week. And uh, I mean, it's double the resources, right? You might as well get in and get some if you haven't already. Plus, buying food as well, I should say that, because buying farming, well, farming food is a bit a little annoying. So if I go in and buy like, you know, 50, uh, 30 uh, HP food a day, it's pretty nice. So overall, when I'm recording videos or just doing stuff in the future, it's always good to have. Uh, but yes, let's get into it. So, Level Up Heroes. So yeah, level up heroes is probably the best thing you want to do at the start, right? Now, obviously, when I mean level up heroes, I mean just max them out to like the, the level cap. So 50 here, 50. Uh, now, obviously, the one person I didn't level up or touch is Fraudrin, because uh, you want to have them at level 1 for like brawl mode. Uh, but you can see CC is 5k. Now, if you look at someone like Elizabeth, is uh, obviously a lower you are, but she's 16k. Now, if I was to evolve her, which I, I, I do now to show you here, uh, let me do someone different, actually, hang on. Uh, let me do, uh, who do I want to level up here? Hendrickson? Glux? I'll, I'll do Hendrickson. So I have all Hendrickson here. Subarashi. Subarashi, okay. Right then, Sheik's mm. Okay, so I skip. You can see his CC with around 15k, but now it's 8k. That's good. He's, le he's leveled, he's downgraded to level 1 now. So if I do max him out here Subarashi. and get him to uh, level 60, you can see here. He was currently 8k, and then now he's a uh, 19k, so a massive increase. Now as well, I should say, it's the unique. So now you can look at his CC, obviously you lock and go back, I'll just do a massive time, uh, jump cut now. But in using, unlocking someone's passive or unique increases the CC by 500. So I'll just do it now, and I'll jump cut so you can see it. Yeah, so fight, you see there boys, 119,539. So if you haven't already done it, I believe I've done it all already, but uh, you can definitely just go back and check for all your your characters. And I believe there's around 130-ish characters in the game. Uh, but convenience sake, let's say there's 100 characters. And um, doing that, you know, 500 times 100 is 50k CC. So, a simple thing as just doing someone's passive is going to increase your CC by 50k. Pretty big. Now, uh, if you don't know why, if you're still new, uh, if you don't know what increasing your CC does, it does give you an extra HP bonus for your, your actual teams you use in PvP. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely worthwhile doing, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's the first bit. You know, unlock your passive, level up everyone up so you get the CC requirements and all that stuff. Uh, and then next will be, I guess, six starring or starring your characters awakening. Now, um, I just started doing this. Now, it's going to be very, very hard for someone new to actually six star, uh, even three, four star of a character. And I know, I remember at the start of the game when I first started playing, six star and one character took a grind. So, um, once again, over time, you just get around to doing it. Now, um, bear in mind, I've been playing since the start of the game, which was March 3rd. And uh, I did struggle at one point to finish it because uh, if you look at my resources here, uh, look, at my, look at my demon blood. I'm dried up. Like, if I want to try and get someone now, it's going to take so long. I don't think I can even farm everything right now to get someone to 6-star if they require demon blood. But someone like Water Life, I have so much here. Uh, so, yeah, I know it will take time, but there's so many events that just give you free stuff. Uh, just so much, like, I think the Awaken Lily event. Uh, if you want to know how you farm these stuff, definitely do boss battles. Uh, something that I haven't done in probably months now, because typ typically you, you kind of farm very hard at the start of the game. And then you kind of just go off from there. Uh, but yeah, boss battles when they are half stamina. Uh, de definitely do farm those. So stay up to date with like what's on the half stamina. Uh, if you want to know how you farm gold. Uh, if you don't already know, Fort Sargris is the best way to farm gold. You just farm books and sell them. Bear in mind, this is getting a little, a little rework later on. I'll get into that when it does come into it. Uh, but yeah, pretty much just 
farming is the way to go. Now, obviously, it's hard and uh, it will take some time, but which is why I think you should buy the shop right now. It's like half the stuff are in sale. So if you haven't already bought a bunch of stuff, definitely start kind of getting those up and then uh, kind of go from there. But the thing is, you don't have to six star everyone day one. Oh, Jeffrey, he's not six star. I've not done it properly. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'll do that now while I'm talking about it. But yeah. But I kind of set a goal. Like, that's probably what you should do. Just kind of set a goal. I start off with just three star on everyone and then doing uh, four star, five star, and I finish going to six star on everyone. But I'm kind of lucky because when I did start, obviously I started with the game and I progressed as the game went on. So characters like Elaine uh, had like one use in the game, which was during the Founder Boss King. So six star on her was obviously I had to do it. So that's why it wasn't that bad. And eventually you get around to level 80 and a bunch of characters. Also, I believe, uh, was it the reverse stages? Uh, probably helped out quite a bit. If you don't know what the reverse stages are, it's like a hard story mode and uh, getting these characters like for example Arden I had to level up for uh, the reverse stages who else did I do like Twiggo uh, Freezia if that's how you say a name you know these characters like Kane you wouldn't normally level 86 on them because you don't you don't use them but during like the reverse stages you definitely will start leveling these guys up so it's not a bad idea now obviously another uh, I guess another waiting with your, your CC is obviously this thing here awakening uh, your ultimate levels now I believe it increases it by uh, 500 or 400. I, I believe it's uh it's around 400 or so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 400. Maybe I'm wrong. Someone correct me. But it's around that 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 minimal uh, level, right? To where every time you get your ultimate level, it does go up a bunch of CC. Which is why, for example, my lost vein. He's completely maxed out. He's got full, like the best you are you possibly can get with uh, his cosmetics leveled up too. Which, uh, which by the way, once again, leveling up cosmetics, a little upgrade, but it will help out over time, I guess. Uh, it does increase your main stat, which once again will increase your overall CC. But my lost thing right now, even though he's got perfect gear and perfect cosmetics, he's not going to have the highest CC because, well, his ultimate level isn't maxed. You're missing about what? 1.5k there? 1.2? Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already, start using your deep coins and start leveling up characters. Obviously, you can't do this for SRs, which is kind of not the worst thing. But at res and SRs should already be 6-6. Six, six. So if I cl click on a random SR right here, I think this might be the wrong one. Okay, no, it is. But yeah, just 6-star everyone. Just uh, your res, your commons, uh, or your res and your SRs. Just 6-star them because it'll give you more CC overall. And then uh, that's kind of leave it at that. Over time, your SRs will just start getting stacked up. Uh, now, I wouldn't recommend just 6 star in uh, or uh, what's it? 6-6 six, six in every unit or every SSR. For example, uh, Deldry, if I go to her, you lot shouldn't do this. I only did it for the memes. Uh, but I did 6-6 six, six, her. And I also gave her UR gear. If you didn't know this, uh, one time during the video, I asked people for uh, 100 likes and they did it. So I gave them to UR gear. Uh, but yeah, her CC, 40k. Bear in mind, Delji doesn't have any uh, cosmetics, which is an absolute L. Uh, but yeah, also I should move on to that too. Okay, so another thing I recommend doing is going into characters you haven't used in a while or characters you don't really uh, look into and sorting out their equipment. So if you look right now, uh, my uh, combat class is 25, pretty much 26k uh, for Demon Medios for the red one, right? But one thing I did work on is this thing here. So Cosmetics, you can see, obviously I've not touched this guy in a while, but he's missing. Well, he's using two SSR pieces, right? So, using these two here. But he does have two UR pieces. And you can see this piece here um, is universal for every Mediodis. And it is obviously a good piece. So, his CC right now is uh, f uh, 932. So, if I remove these two pieces, you know, the, the SRs or SSR, and give them the URs, which are give more, obviously, HP. Or more defense, sorry. He's now gone up. Now it's little, but if you do this for every character, and especially all the time playing the game, you kind of forget characters you use. Like, uh, I'll check this Leah. I'm pretty sure she already has her stuff. Yes, yeah, she does. But, like, just check your characters. See if you have anything to upgrade. I'll uh, just check one more. Elizabeth, I know, has a lot of cosmetics. Okay, yeah. She's already got four URs. But you can see here, just, just go in, check who has doesn't have a UR piece, and just hang up the character or, like, the pieces that you want to use. And as well, uh, this is something I'm going to do over time. This can be very late into the game. Uh, but I'm going to eventually max out with affinity. Like, just, just do boom. Uh, do max and give her cosmetic. Overall, the little bits just help out. Help out so much. Because you get, like, what, over 100 characters? And ha having an extra, like, you know... 200 300 cc on every character in the game is going to increase your cc by quite a bit now obviously let's get to the main reason how to increase your cc in your characters is obviously super awakening super awakening is a massive thing in the game that's going to increase your cc by quite a bit but that is there's no real way of doing it fully because um well 
unless you're spending money or getting dupe coins, you can't fully spend every coin. But like, yeah, just just maxing out a character. Um, over time, just focus on who you want to use, and then whenever like a new founder boss update comes out or like a new character, uh, just super waking them if you want to use them, and your CC will increase over time. Okay, so the next one will be uh, giving you our gear. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go too much in detail for this one, but giving you our gear is going to help out your CC by quite a bit because it's a massive increase. Uh, you can see one character here is 50k. If I go to my Elizabeth, who should have the UR gear on right now, if I go to her, she's around 55k. Not 55, what the hell? 51. But if I had her ultimate leveled up, she'll be around 54. And then her cosmetics maxed out around 55. So that's how you increase your CC. Now, the next thing is gear. But what do I mean? Now, here, you can see here. So I'll throw up a screenshot. So what I did was, I just filled up my entire box of random ass gear. So what you can do is that you just go into one character here, uh, go into gear, and I click re recommend equipment. And you can see here, boom, it gives you just whatever equipment you have, it puts on the gear on and you get the bonuses. Now you can see my CC, what my CC was around, uh, is around 130k more than what it was here, but that's not good. You should do if you want to, if you're, if you're very close to like a account, uh, combat class, like if I get around uh, 340k, uh, well, 3.4 mil, sorry. I will just put random gear on just to get that 3.5 so I do get the CC and then drop below. But what I'm doing right now is uh, going to take some time, but I'm giving everyone that doesn't have gear normally, going to give them HP defense. Now, the reason why, because HP defense is the best CC class in the game. Like, them two equipments together does work out pretty well. So, yeah, what I'm done is just literally just put every gear on. Uh, some are leveled up, but like not really too much. But yeah, just went back into all my characters and gave them all HP defense. Now, it's obviously quite long. I can't do all of them, but as you can see for Rugal here, uh, I've, I've run out of the HP set. So I'm going to give it over time and then eventually run out of point like over here. You can see I've kind of run out here. I'm just going to farm overnight. But yeah, definitely just for now, if you're very close to like a CC requirement, just put any gear on. But over time, start making, you know, HP defense sets. Uh, you can get away with doing attack defense. It's not too bad, but I'd rather just go HP defense. And then uh, that's pretty much the best way to do it. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's not out just yet. Maybe when you're watching this, the future is out. But right now, we don't have the gear update. So we can't just, you know, five plus five star any equipment in one button. And uh, if you look at my equipment here, and if you look at my awakening stones, you can see right here, I have 552. Do you know how many gear sets this is? This is so many gear sets that I, I want to do, but there's no point because I'm not going to sit there and waste so much, like, so much gold. I'm not going to sit there and waste so much of my uh, purple, what are they called? The brown gems. So, uh, yeah, when the update does come out, I will be getting a lot of gear maxed out. And then, obviously, that will just over the time just increase my CC. Okay, for the last part, I guess there isn't too much to talk about here. But, literally, just having your, your units with UR gear or with good equipment will increase your CC. But, as well, if you don't already know, uh, you when you do use association, you want to make sure you use someone. Well, if, if you've got, like, a character that is going to buff, like, attack, right, definitely use them. Uh, but, make sure in, when you're using association, you always use someone who does have a 6-6 six, six ultimate. Because, uh, if you look here, I use, like, Goddess Liver, for example. Uh, she is 5%, so my character is only going to get big stats by 5%. To where if I use someone like Eren, Eren is obviously 6'6". Six, six, so I have 6 levels of ultimates on him. He will give my 10% bonus. So yeah, make sure you can see here. The only thing is with King. King um, King gives a Gravan attack, which is uh, going to give you an extra 1k CC if I'm having a Gravan attack on your team. But by the ands aren't uh, max stats. You can see here, I think my... Uh, my this green down here is, is only 8%, but still, having an extra combat class is going to give out quite a bit, plus the defense is good too. Uh, so yeah, pretty much just, that's kind of it for like the, the team CC wise. Uh, but make sure you do as well if I go to my uh, CC team here. So yeah, you can see here, Gofal has uh, 160k, but I don't have, you can see what my CC is. It's 198, but I don't have the association for King, so if I do put King on, bear in mind this is Super Awakened, so it's going to give me more stats overall. And then boom, it goes of 1k. And then a swell by putting gear on King if he doesn't already have gear on. To give him Delgy's HP set, his HP, his CC jumps up quite a bit as well. And you saw at 160k, now 172. So, boys, it's very important if you're doing team stuff. Uh, do give your actual associations, do give them gear. And also make sure you use the right association. So you do get a combined attack and or a uh, certain stat. Like a uh, resistance, you may want. Uh, what's the one you don't want? I think if I go to uh, Elizabeth here. Uh, to finish, she has defense and attack. Okay, well, that's not the best example. Uh, okay, here's a good example, I guess. Uh, life still, yes, yeah, important, but if you don't have a character 6-6, six, six, for example, I do have the SR here, so it's kind of nice. Uh, but if I don't have, you know, these guys 6-6, six, six, there's no point using 
uh, these characters for the life steal if it's not going to give me the 10% bonus. I'm going to use someone like Eskinor, which give me a massive bonus because he is 6'6". Six, six. But yeah, that is all for today. Hopefully helped out. Uh, kind of a long video. I can see I'm sat for like 16, 17 minutes. So I wonder how, how much I'm going to edit out. Uh, but yeah, just... Just work on your gear over time, work on all your stuff. Um, the best part you can do right now is probably just level up everyone uh, to start 6-star. And actually, see, I didn't 6-star this person, but I will be doing that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, it for today. Let me know if it helped out. Uh, just just give it time, boys. It's it's, it's a grind, but um, you'll get there eventually, especially if you start playing for like, a really long time. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace.